When a 70-foot section of this bridge near Martha, Oklahoma collapsed in late April, it signaled life was going to be different for area farmers such as Matt Muller. I farm, my farm headquarters is one mile north of here. I have 320 acres on the east side of this bridge I farm and, and all the rest of my land most part, but I also have 400 acres I farm a mile west and a half a mile south of this bridge. So to go check cattle, if I have cattle over there, or to run over with my equipment, was only about a five minute drive with my equipment. Now with this bridge being out, uh, I have to go 15 miles to get over to that farm. The collapse of this bridge, built more than 60 years ago, came as no surprise to Oklahoma Department of Transportation Director Gary Ridley. He said Oklahoma has 2,000 bridges built before 1950. But wait, there's more. We have about 135, 140 bridges that were built before 1920 on the state system. That means they're over 80 years old. And we have one bridge that was built uh, in 1896. That's 31 years after the Civil War ended, and it's still on the system. Uh, a little known fact that, that really, that I think uh, explains the situation as far as the bridges are concerned, is that we have 660 bridges on the state system that are used every day that were built before Henry Ford quit making the Model A. That means they were designed and built for the loads that Model A carried and the traffic volumes at the Model A era. Why has Oklahoma become so dependent on bridges that old? Ridley says it didn't happen overnight. We've had uh, many decades of neglect of the system, both in uh, maintenance and major repair or replacement of roads, uh, as well as bridges. Uh, consequently, the, uh, the state of the bridge and transportation system, highway system in the state, is not good, and certainly nothing we're proud of. Although many of the deficient bridges are in rural Oklahoma, it's not just a rural problem. Oh, that's correct. I think that we can show you pictures of the underneath side bridges that are in serious condition on our interstate system and some of those in our uh, most urban areas. It's all a matter of funding. Ridley says state lawmakers have failed to adequately fund roads and bridges. We need to understand that the department receives less money today in state funds than we did in 1985, 20 years ago. Repairing a broken bridge can be a major financial challenge. This collapsed bridge actually belongs to Jackson County, where officials estimate it will take about $200,000 to fix the damage, $3 million to build a new bridge. Securing funding is a major concern for Moore. This is a, a large project. It's in a very rural setting. You don't have 50 houses sitting up and down this road with a lot of votes, you know, making rattling noise. you got about 50 farmers. Engineers estimate it will take about six months to repair this bridge, but what if the posted 13-ton load limit is ignored? That we're dead serious about the problem. We're dead serious that they need to respect those signage and not to cross those bridges with overloaded trucks. Well, after seeing this bridge collapse, uh, I'm quite confident the engineers hanging these weight limit signs know exactly what they're doing. Those weight limits are accurate. There is some good news here. We've just learned the Oklahoma legislature has agreed to a five-year plan for road and bridge repair, kicking in $35 million this year, increasing to $170 million annually by 2010. So soon, Oklahoma may no longer lead the nation in deficient roads and bridges.